Good deed done. That's the best you can come up with. Yes, I'm talking about you, but you don't ever find You're mad, you got it. Jimmy, so what really happened to Mr. Galloway? Where did he go? It's a sad story, but... Sometimes, when grown-ups get upset, they respond in the wrong ways, and, well... Small problems get bigger, and that's... really the... thing about being an adult. Miss, I'm not five. My mom's been married five times, and I've been expelled from seven schools. <sighs> Yeah. He's a drunk. Stupid man couldn't control himself. Damn him! I love him. But that wretched ogre Hattrick guilt-tripped him into committing himself into the asylum to get dried out. If only someone could get in there and tell him to get out, I'll take care of him. Why don't you go? Because that loveless scumbag Hattrick told him not to let me in. Said I was a bad influence. Don't you worry, miss. I'll get him out. Okay. Meet me near the asylum tonight. I'll be there. And Jimmy? Yes, Miss Phillips? It's Ms, not Miss. Oh, right. I will not tolerate indiscipline. Oh, hi! I'm glad you made it. Please hurry and try to talk some sense into him. I'll be waiting for him at the asylum gates. Don't worry, miss. Thank you so much.
sort of watch your stampede again. I must be a better person. I must be a better person. I must be a better person. Oh, God! I am pathetic! Hey, Mr. Galloway! Go away! I don't want to have another group therapy session with those people. If I have to pretend to be someone's mother one more time, I'll... Oh. Hi, Jimmy. Uh, what on earth are you doing here? Miss Phillips sent me. She's really worried about you. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, uh, uh... <laughs> I can't right now, Jimmy. I'm late for my regression therapy as it is. It's fantastic. I've discovered I really do hate myself. Hadwick was right. I am a loser. No, you're not. Don't be ridiculous. Come on, we can't let bullies like Mr. Hattrick win. Okay, Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy, I really appreciate this. Thank you. Me too. I am so happy to have my galley bear back. Galley bear? <laughs> There was never any doubt. All right. Zoe, you want to have some fun, tough guy? What kind of fun? Not that kind. I only date older men or junkies. They're so romantic. Come on, what's wrong with me? <laughs> well, everybody hates you. You're a little twerp. You dress terribly. But apart from that, nothing. Oh, okay. Good. Why don't we play a little game? Come on. By older men, I hope you don't mean Mr. Burton. 
Hey! Come on! We're going to the Spencer Shipping Warehouse! All right, Jimmy. Here we are. A warehouse full of expensive-looking junk. It makes it much more satisfying that all this is Spencer shipping. Wait, isn't Tad's last name Spencer? Yup, and now we're gonna play a little game. Whoever smashes up the most stuff wins.
Hopkins. Now, I'm not one to give in to popular sentiment. You can tell that by your clothes. What? I'm saying you dress great. Irrelevant. As I said, I am not a people pleaser, but in your case, I'm going to make an exception. An exception? Cool. Yes, you are without a doubt the least popular boy in this school right now. Even that fat child who wets himself is more popular than you. Coincidentally, it has also come to my attention that you are a filthy, dirty, foul-mouthed, awful little vandal. Yeah, well, we already knew that. Very droll. A comedian till the end. Well, you'll have to pursue your comedic talents elsewhere, boy. Bullworth is not for you. I'm not the one who's funny. You know what's funny? You. You're a joke, you old creep. You and your stuck-up, lame-ass school with its bullies and sex-pest teachers. This place is a dump, and you're a big-nosed freak. This school rewards losers and bullies. I just stand up to them. You painted obscene graffiti on the town hall, boy. I have it on good authority it was you. Oh, yeah? Then who squealed? Tell me that. A commendable pupil did feel the need to tell me you were responsible for this outrage. Gary Smith! Look, I may have painted a few jokes on the town hall, but that kid likes to torture people. Gary Smith is the next head of this school. He's responsible, courteous, and not afraid of being an unpopular leader. You are blind, old man! Blind! And you are leaving! I tried to contact your mother, but she's still off on a cruise. Until I hear from her, I will have to let you stay here in your room. But you may not wear the school uniform or uh, attend classes. Gotta be kidding you are me. leaving the academy to attend to your education elsewhere. Now get out! Whatever, man. You're beneath my contempt. Hey, Jimmy. How you doing? Terrible. Everybody hates me. Everybody might hate you, but everybody laughs at me. Yeah, that's true. Those kids are jerks anyway, but I tried. I know. I mean, I tried to do the right thing, make people happy, stop all the fighting, make everyone calm down. Now everyone laughs at me. People used to be scared of me, and now I'm a joke. It was Gary. It must have been. I know. I can't deal with the fact that that kid beat me. Well, it ain't over yet. God, one minor setback, and you're acting like a baby. You're pathetic. I've been expelled. They're just waiting for my mother to come back from her 58th honeymoon, then I'm out of here. How was that a minor setback? Losers! Oh, shut up, you fat dork. Whatever. You and your has-been friend don't scare me. See? Even a dork like that laughs at me. We gotta prove Gary was behind everything. We don't even know if it was Gary. All we know is townie kids beat up a bunch of Bullworth kids. I mean, I don't even care anymore. Well, we've gotta find out what's going on. Come on! Okay, but if we're gonna take on those townies, we're gonna need a bunch of backup. Someone big who doesn't hate me yet. Russell. Russell. He'll be at his house at Old Bullworth Vale. Hey, have you seen the fighting line? Hey, your grandpa died when he was born, bro? Bust into the dropout's hideout. Only a Brussel gets to destroy.
<laughs> Whoa! Uh-oh! This doesn't look so good! What the hell do you think you're doing? What do you mean? Smashing into our barricade like that? Completely out of control. Are you crazy? I've got to talk to that Edgar kid. I don't think he wants to talk to you. And you can't get in while the power is out anyway. Like your kind around here. So 
better now.